He knows I'm in the office at 9. I have class afterwards. So I just look at that. I get up at, I get up at 7. Cook myself breakfast. I guess I'm getting up extra early, man. Hopefully we'll see who gets up. Who's waking up right now, man? Because it is Dragon Eel versus Nito. Game 1 here. Looking like Nito to keep the space in him between him and Palu. Think about Palu, though. She gets around from a lot of the focus attack counters that Ken does have. It doesn't matter, man. Nito's gonna put this man off the corner. Yeah, Nito just chasing down these air dodges right now. His gumbo's <laughs> not connecting. He's looking and looking. Can can this man come back to the stage? <laughs> That's Did what you I just say know. Ken on purpose. Can, can this man come back on? Man, that's corny. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I was about to call you out for me a damn cornball here. Yeah, it's, it's a little corny, but I was saying can this man come back? Oh, he, he had the huge punish right there. That should have been it for uh, Dragneo's first stock, but instead, uh, Nito rolling backwards into the explosive flame. Yeah. I mean, it looked like a focus attack cancel, rather, but... I like it. Nito's checking the commitment here coming out from Dragon Hill. He's waiting for that move. Gets in with down tilt. He senses the option out of the shield. It's going to be a jump out, and he checks his man at the ledge here. Gets the forward tilt, puts him off the stage, and gets the stock. All right, the autocorrect coming in clutch right there. 50% right there for Nito. All right, jumping into the forward tilt. Explosive flame, he's just trying to like space out Nito, make him make oh, him up. I, I love it. You said space out Nito, man. Nito spacing out Palutena. He said, I wanted you to check the commitment first. Yeah, that's, that's what he's been looking for. Well. He said four to Lumas. Ooh, that was something. Oh. I don't know about that show you. You know what? It's, he was, it's he was looking to catch Dragon Hill Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was. He was. He wanted the call out. Somebody, you can't jump for free, man. They, char they charge for, air, for being in the air zone. Oh, oh that was a shield. shield break. That was a shield break. And unfortunately a, for... Uh, an yeah, that's an SD. Dragon got lucky, dude. That was a shield break and a half. I mean, he still lost the stock either way. It's better than dancing with the stars, right? <laughs> what? When you get shield broken, the stars come out. You're dancing with the stars. That's corny, dog. <laughs> All right, back to... You have to give Dragon. me the credit now. Come on, man. I've been working on it. All right, anyways. <laughs> He said, I had that one in my notes. I was waiting for it. Yeah, I've been trying minute. to practice this one every night, man. I'm telling you, dude. It works. All right, anyways. <laughs> oh, he tried for the kick into the down air, but doesn't get the sweet spot. Oh, man. Watch your shield. Well, the thing That's here is it. that Nito is no, not. really good with that way. combo conversion because every time that he goes for it. <laughs> where did he go? <laughs> That's why he wears the summer shirt. He knew he got that double EXP weekend. Yeah, um, he didn't get to go summon he as did. a VIP. That's good for him. Hopefully, uh, he uh, got some good practice there. Oh, I'm sure, dude. I'm sure. Um, so he goes for those confirms, and even if they do damage on the shield, right? He knows that one of the three options Powell's gonna go for is jump, jump out of shield. Hopefully, you're not gonna go for grab. <laughs> That's right. the one you don't want to go for. That's the last one you want to go for. And then Nair to shield. Chances are Nair's gonna come out a little bit too late, especially when you're getting hit, so jump out of shield's the right option. Nito goes for that conversion, so even if Dragneel does jump out of it, he is gonna get punished off of it too. And if he doesn't, he might get shield poked or shield broken. It literally puts three options in the Dragneels. It says, pick your poison, I'm gonna catch one of them. All right, this man picking the other side of the stage to come back on. A lot of spacing right now, but Nito finally finding an opening. Right, here comes the ladders with an up here. No, he gets, goes for the photo, but he's still able to keep the traps going. Yeah. Okay. Another Nair. He's Dragon looking for that back air. No, he goes for the falling up air. Dragon was looking great here on Battlefield so far, just using the platform to his advantage, making it so incredibly difficult for Nito to land. Hashtag, like he's, I was gonna say, he's looking for the landing afterwards. He knew what angle was gonna send him at. Is that it? No, he goes to no. the present kick. It was good still to go for it because look at the position where he got him at, too. He was able to confirm into an actual, like, spike. So that would have put Dragon in a really difficult spot. Punish? No. He looks for a down smash, but a little too much shield stun. That's the show you, though. Let's think about Ken, too. He has autocorrect. This man will never get crossed up for free. Yeah, you gotta be incredibly careful how you damage this man's shield. Yeah, that was a good that was a good focus attack because he knew that one option he was probably gonna cop by was either up smash and even if he got hit by up air, still getting away from the first hit is still worth better than nothing. Nice. 
Oh, I like the Tatsu right there just to chase him across stage. Thing about Ken's Tatsu is, compared to Ryu's, it doesn't kill. Multi hit. No, it's multi hit, it's some good damage, he's able to extend it. Mm, Untackable. Uh, you know what? Great awareness. I wouldn't have thought about that one. As yeah, I mean. Oh, right off the nair, too. I know some people also might be wondering, like, what's the difference between Ken and Ryu? Ken's aerials and all his moves are all kick based. They're all yeah. based off the feet, right? And then Tatsu doesn't kill compared to Ryu's. Um, only it Ryu gets the actual, like, fireball, fireball, the shakunets. And, or EX, EX, pretty much EX will do open. And Ken just gets regular five. Can you just try and pilot it? Man, he said, I saw that video on, on the Twitter feed. Yeah, he said, Salem got that. He tell you, Salem out here preaching yeah. the truth. It still blows my mind that Ken's even considered an echo with how different he plays from Alias. Different move speed, different inputs, different moves in general. I mean, in, in the same vein, right? Like, him and Ryu do have the same inputs. Even in the perspective games, they have the exact same inputs. Just one is more based off doing damage on the feet than the other one's doing more damage on the hands. It goes to show that the way the character's lore works. I suppose right? so. Keep it true to their respective games. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Hadouken's the opposite direction. Kind of buy himself some time in the air here. Trying to be careful from, from that Palutena. He is pretty much up against the whole stock, so yep. I don't see Nito making any mistakes anytime soon. I feel like I've been seeing Nito go for that, like, reverse Hadouken, like, more recently. I haven't seen that from him, like, in my recent memory. Yeah. Well, we saw it, too. It was a really good example. He was able to kind of stall himself yeah, at the that ledge. That's a confirm, it. and that'll do it, especially that far at the ledge. He said, what's the next game, man? I see Marco in the background. He's like, I got next, bro. <laughs> He's like, I got next. <laughs> Marco's like, put me in, coach. I got this. <laughs> Somebody tag this man out, man. He's getting murdered out here. All right, well, so far, Nito up 2-0 against Dragneel. If I were Dragneel, man, it's it comes down to spacing yourself around Ken. Like, once Ken, once you come into that range of Ken, you really do take a lot of damage. You do suffer a lot from Ken, so keeping yourself around him might be one of those things to do. He is going to go Diddy, <laughs> and you are a little bit shocked here. Said, man, hold on. He might have the play with Diddy. We'll see. We'll see how things go, man. It's up 2-0. You know what, if he's got the counter pick here, this would be a great move for Dragon. You know, obviously the Palu was not working out for him. Maybe, yeah, no, maybe no, no, no. Character will. Palu does have multi-hits, and we did see how in that matchup we didn't see too much of the focus of that cancel that Neo usually would love to go for, yeah. right? Because he has to be careful with Nair, up air, and those objects. Especially when it comes down to landing, Palu shuts down a lot of Ken's landing options. Yeah, but Nito was able to play around it quite well, but instead, it looks like this Diddy's just gonna... Okay. He I said... Was Gonna say the duty's been gonna be able to play a more runaway based game, you know, play safely with the banana and say you can't overcommit to chasing me, and yeah. I hope you try to. He don't knows how to keep up though, that's the one thing too. He knows Ken's damage output is pretty big. Ooh, <laughs> <Spammy> <laughs> I was gonna say really good option for him to go to down tilt, because if he does catch Diddy trying to go within that range, down tilt's a little bit slightly disturbing, not too much. And it still caught the banana. That move has paid his dividends. I see the fact that Dragon is trying to give Nito the chase game here, but unfortunately, you get shield poke like that, and you give Nito the ledge to work with, it's going to be a big punish yeah, on the stock. Yeah, get him out of here. Swift on house. Good parry. Oh, that could have been a punish, but I feel like Dragon was just not confident in the parry. He said, I'm not going to try and throw this banana right now. He might catch it if he does another down tilt. Mm -hmm. The good thing to do also with down tilt is that Diddy loves that low. Diddy does consistently move on the ground with a down tilt. He does move always with like jabs. So if you keep a move like that with down tilt into Diddy's range, he has a hard time dealing with it, as you can kind of see right now. Dragon kind of has to respect the fact that he's just been going for down tilt, especially with the fact that Diddy is a low character. Oh, big damage on the shield here. It's forced Dragon off the stage. He comes back with the forward air. No forward smash, though. All right, I like it. Dragneel just trying to keep the air-to-air -air more in his favor. If I see Nito jumping, I'm making sure there's a hitbox right in front of him. 
each time. What a call out. Oh, and he gets his jump. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah, that was the day buff right there. <laughs> that was the day buff. Well, Yo, he sure. almost. I told you, pick your poison. You either roll out of it, you jump, or you get shield broken. Well, the thing is, when you're at the ledge, you can't roll out of it. Like, yeah. How do you get out? If you try and roll through, you'll get caught. Mm -hmm. And he got caught just like that. I trip into the monkey kick. High recovery, gonna get punished, but only a jab. It looked, you know, Neo played. Oh, he thought he had the banana on the other side. And Neo playing this one incredibly confident, though. You know, has such a lead here against Dragon Neo. Yeah, that was a good time to actually jump and go for an aerial, especially with Dragon Neo putting himself at the ledge, just to pull banana. That allowed Neo to also grab banana in kind. Yeah, that was a great Hadouken right there, just making it so mm, this is Dragneel couldn't set up at the ledge there. Yeah, and this is tough for Dragneel because he's sacrificing so much stage control to pull Banana and set up the gameplay with little to show. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Right yeah, there. see, he's, look at the stage, how much of the stage he loses. He's cornering himself and yeah. then giving Nido the Banana as well. Good parry, he's finally able to find a punish with a cross up back air. I want to see Dragneel take it to the stock, he's got Banana in hands. Looking for an opportunity here. He's not going to toss it in right away. I like it. He tries to give him a little bit of a mix-up here and go over the down tilt. But I said that down tilt that Ryu, I'm sorry, Ken has, and then clank with it. Again, cornering himself for the banana. Mm -hmm. Usually some Diddy's would prefer to hold control and then force your opponent off the stage and grab banana. Yeah. Oh, he looked for the escape eject. He looked for the ejection seat off the stage right here. Oh, down smash out of shield. Gonna be a punish, but not enough to kill. This should be it. No, actually. no, no shield poke and the back out of the shield. Dragneel holding on to the very little of the stock he has left. He gets a solid combo from the ledge, but he misses the confirm. And yeah, Needle nice. will do it. All right, so Needle punching his ticket into winner's file to the top. I did it!